como lo puede ser como en los años anteriores. Y ahora respecto a las cuestiones relacionadas con la energía geotérmica, entonces encontramos que aunque la geotermia ahora está... A través de modelos conceptuales. Esos modelos conceptuales están sustentados en modelos matemáticos que nos permiten, esos modelos matemáticos están asociados a unos software de modelación. Si nos vamos entonces al campo de la geotermia, hay diferentes software de modelación como OpenLogic, Custom Multifiles, FreeFlow, entre otros. I've been working uh, in the IGCP C three six group uh, since four years. I started in this uh, group uh, when I was a bachelor student, uh, and uh, I have the opportunity uh, during my study uh, to travel to Quebec, Canada, uh, to make my uh, thesis. Uh, I worked uh, in this opportunity with uh, the professor Jean-Marc Raymond. Uh, in this moment, I'm now professor uh, in the Medellin University. Um, I'm teaching uh, environmental uh, geology. I, I have the opportunity to publish a paper in, in the journal South America Air Science. Uh, my uh, research, my paper, is the continuation of the Marisabel paper, uh, and the idea is to continue uh, doing uh, geothermal investigation and research in, in our My name is Paula Aguilera, I'm geophysicist, and I'm currently uh, I'm the president of the Colombian Geothermal Association, and also PhD candidate of the University of Auckland in New Zealand. So I met Daniela Blessing at Jacqueline Lopez by 2016 at the first uh, IGCP 636 annual meeting that they hosted here at the University of Medellin. Uh, after that, we have the opportunity to meet a lot in different events. The first one was when I organized with some uh, other professionals and students the first uh, Colombian National Annual Meeting in Bogota at the Colombian Geological Survey. Okay, after that meeting, 
uh, we have the opportunity to work together in different events, some geothermal days here at the Universidad de Medellín. Uh, also, uh, we, we cooperate, we check EPN to get some data. We travel to Manizales, I remember, by 2017. Uh, we could get uh, some samples that then uh, the group of the UNESCO and Universidad de Medellín, the geothermal project, uh, can use for, for researching. And after that, they are showing the results in the different col uh, RENACs, the, the Colombian Geothermal Meeting. And that allow us to, to establish a very strong relationship all about uh, geothermal energy in Colombia. And now uh, the UNESCO group uh, here at this unit, they have uh, active members. Uh, Daniel Ablesen is the leader of the regional chapter of Antioquia. Uh, and they are also organizing the fourth uh, uh, annual meeting of geothermal energy gonna be at the end of this year here uh, in Albion University of Miami. My name is Chelsea Cervantes and I'm currently a student at Reykjavik University studying to obtain my Master's of Sustainable Energy um, with a focus on geothermal energy. And my Master's thesis I've been working together with Daniela Blissent who is one of my advisors in the Universidad de Medellin um, in order to create a 3D model of faulting and intrusion of the Nevado del Ruiz geothermal area using LeapFrog geothermal software by Sequent. So my experience in working with Daniela um, and working on this project has brought me to so many places and one of the most impactful being that I actually moved to Medellin for a period of four months in order to meet Daniela and the team that had been working on this project before me. It was a very immersive experience in which throughout this experience I was also able to travel to Chile to participate in the IGCP meeting of November 2017 in which I was able to meet other people that have been involved in this program um, and able to collaborate and share ideas and create even a bigger network. Uh, just recently I was given the opportunity to travel back again to Bogota to participate in the RENAG 2018 meeting this past December, um, in which I had the opportunity to actually present my work so far, which was incredible. And it was amazing to be able to present my work in one of the places where it honestly matters the most, and to be able to gain feedback from Colombians who are involved in the geothermal industry. So. It's been an amazing ride so far being a part of this program and this UNESCO project and I am hoping that it only continues to grow and expand and facilitate even more geothermal collaboration and learning in the industry to just create a, a more extensive and stronger international geothermal industry. My name is Jérôme de la Bernardi. So I did my PhD thesis at the Univers University of Rennes about the characterization of heat transport in fractured media through modeling work and experimental characterization. In particular, we did a heat, uh, heat trust test and uh, within the framework of the UNESCO project, we provided uh, the thermal transfer test data to different students from Quebec, Medellin, uh, and the BRGM in France. Um, so the, the objective for the student was to compare different numerical models uh, by mo the, model the, mo the modeling of those uh, thermal trusted test da data. So I went uh, to Colombia doing a travel funded by Econo uh, to uh, help the students uh, from the University of Medellin to model uh, the data with open geosis and hard geo geo geosphere. Also, I participated to the UNESCO meeting at Orient in October 2018 and I presented my work. Uh, I've also participated, participated sorry, uh, to the EGW uh, Congress at uh, Strasbourg. Hello, my name is Matthias Locare. 
I am a PhD candidate of Universidad de Chile and my advisor is Linda Daniele. Well, my research consists to improve the understanding of the groundwater flow in a regional fault zone that is located in the Andean mountain front and the implication of that in the chemistry, solute and the heat transport. For the same reason, I participate in the Geothermal UNESCO project since 2017 and I was part of the staff that organized the second annual meeting in Santiago, Chile and I joined the discussion in the third annual meeting in Orléans, France. And well, it was a pleasure to work and to join with all of you and thanks for the nice moment. Bye bye.